Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the FlySky FSI6. This is an old transmitter, but it remains a good option for beginners stepping up from the toy grade transmitter. This is testament to its good functionality and design. Unlike the Trinity Evolution, which comes in a game controller form factor, this one comes in a more traditional shape. Basically, it's just a rectangular block. It's made of plastic, but the build quality is good. So you have gimbals here. They're full-size gimbals, and they're quite smooth. Definitely a huge leap compared to the toy grade transmitter gimbals. So you have uh, trim buttons here. Then you have the controls here, so up, down, OK. If you long press this, you get to the menu and cancel. If you long press this, you save your setting. And then the power button here and the bind button here. You also have four switches, a two-position switch here, another two-position switch here, a three-position switch there, and finally another two-position switch. It also has two potentiometers. There's also a lanyard attachment point here, which means that pinchers as well as thumbers can use this. At the top, we just have the antenna and the handle. At the back, we have the trainer port, which is also the simulator port, as well as the firmware upgrade port. There's a different cable for each function, so you need to make sure you're getting the right one. Here we have the battery compartment, which accepts four AA batteries. You can just buy this from the grocery or the drugstore, and you don't need any additional charger. Perfect for beginners. Of course, you can also put in rechargeable AA batteries. As you can see, this only has six channels, unlike the Trinity Evolution, which has eight channels. Six channels are actually more than enough for many applications. So the first four channels are taken up by the sticks, and then you would have a channel for arming and disarming, and another channel for modes, so angle, horizon, and acro. And that's all I usually need. Of course, more channels is good for additional functions. The Trinity Evolution has 8 channels, but this one can actually go to 14 channels. This is where FlyPlus comes in. FlyPlus is a third-party open source firmware that gives you additional functionality as well as 14 channels. And all you need to do is to download it and flash it to the i6. So you choose this. Then OK. You will need a firmware update cable. So just plug in one end to the transmitter. And the other end to the PC. And then you can start updating the firmware. I have a detailed step-by-step -step guide and I will provide the link below in the description. So we have everything we need. Let's unzip the archive. and launch the updater. SWE is a hardware mod where you add another switch to the i6. So we'll select the regular four switch version. And input the USB port. This may be different for your PC. And that's it. We're done updating. Let's turn it on. 
So as you can see, the user interface has changed. And we are now on Fly Plus 1.7.5. So you have this new menu item called extra and it gives you a timer an alarm alarms actually um, switch combinations transmitter battery monitoring vario which is an audible notification system and asl which are i think sensors and endpoints for the new channels. Here is where you adjust the endpoints of the original six channels. And as you can see, there are already additional channels here, all the way to 14 channels. And that's it for my overview of the FlySky FSI6 and Fly Plus. As I said earlier, it is an old transmitter but it remains a viable option for beginners and with Fly Plus even for intermediate and advanced users. Thank you for watching.